Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Once again, I welcome you all in the name of Jesus to this Word of God ministry, Thunder of God. Today, let us hear a testimony to attend a retreat or to attend a preaching of Word of God is not a simple thing. It will bring to us deliverance, healing and great blessings from heaven. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. I know a girl from San Antonio. She's a young girl, just, of, just 15 years old. Her name is Sandy. Sandy came to attend a youth retreat. She was very sad. Why was she sad? That is because her dad had gone away from the church. He had become an atheist. And after attending this retreat, she was filled with the fire of the Holy Spirit. She decided that after the retreat, she's not going to lose hope, but she's going to pray earnestly for her dad. So after the retreat, every single day, uh, this little girl, Sandy, she would pray for her dad. At 3 a.m. in the morning, she would pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet for months together, kneeling down on gravel, lifting her hands to heaven. And she would pray the Holy Rosary every single day. And in the middle of the night sometimes, she would go around the bedside of her dad and sprinkle holy water on him. Sandy never gave up hope. That is the reason after months of prayer and fasting, Sandy went and asked her dad that if he would come and attend a retreat. So one day, uh, this dad, he said yes. And he went to attend the retreat. The Holy Spirit of God touched him. Jesus touched his heart so powerfully that after the retreat, he emptied 47 bottles of liquor and from that day onwards until today, it's been more than a year, he hasn't touched alcohol. And more than that, from that day onwards, he has started believing in Jesus only because of the prayers of a young 15-year-old girl, Sandy, today the father has come back to the church and today he professes that Jesus is his only savior. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 See how wonderful change, how wonderfully God intervened in their life. In the beginning, a single member, uh, Sandy, a, a, young, a young girl, she attended the retreat. She attended a word of God ministry that brought great changes to that family. I, I happened to meet, I, I happened to uh, meet them and they said, see, our Lord Jesus brought redemption to their family. They are, they are all very happy and now they are dedicating their time for the, for, for Lord's sake. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now he says he is enjoying his life. He is, he is aspiring. He gets more happiness. He gets more peace because of the word of God. In the beginning, he dedicated his whole life for liquor. And for this world, he was after worldly pressures. But he was dissatisfied. No peace. But now he is very happy because the word of God delivered them and word of God made them very, very, uh, gave them a blissful life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am sure today by hearing this word of God, many of you will be blessed by our heavenly father. Now let us praise God for some time. If possible, please stand up. Let us praise, let us worship our God together in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, you're my King. Jesus, you're my King. Your life brings me to sing. Your life brings me to sing. I will praise you all my day. I will praise you all my day. You're perfect in all your way. Hail Jesus, you're my Lord. Hail Jesus, you're my Lord. I will obey your word. I will obey your word. I want to see your kingdom come. I want to see your kingdom come. Not my will, but yours be done. Not my will, but yours be done. Glory, glory, glory to the Lamb. Glory, glory to the Lamb. You take us to the Lamb. You take us to the Lamb. 
we will conquer in your name we will conquer in your name and proclaim that jesus reign and proclaim that jesus reign hail hail o lion of judah hail o lion of judah how wonderful you are how wonderful you are hail hail o lion of judah hail o lion of judah how powerful you are jesus 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 my healer you are my healer you are my deliverer you are my deliverer you are my savior you are my savior jesus 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 oh jesus 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 with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, today, learn from saul learn from saul that is what we are going to think about saul is a old testament character we come across the story of saul in the book of samuel first samuel chapter 9 onwards there was a man of benjamin whose name was kish son of abiel son of zeror son of becorath son of afia a benjaminite a man of wealth he had a son whose name was saul a handsome young man there was not a man among the people of israel more handsome than he he stood head and shoulders above everyone else praise the lord Praise, Praise the Lord. See the a uh, Benjaminite Kish he is the father of Saul. This Saul was a very handsome young man and our Lord chose Saul for his ministry. So Lord began to intervene in the family of Kish. What happened? One day they found lost their there some possessions that is what we read chapter 9 verse 3 now the donkeys of kish saul's father had strayed so kish said to his son saul take one of the boys with you go and look for the donkeys yes well, in a natural way our lord began to intervene in the family of kish why because our lord has already chose saul for his ministry now a natural happening something happened in their house their donkeys were found missing so saul as a faithful son began to, uh, to took uh, some servants and he started uh, in search of uh, miss uh, the, in search of donkeys so for days and days uh, he was uh, wandering and he couldn't find out the uh, uh, donkeys so he was tired and then he said to the servants let us go back because we can we can we couldn't find out donkeys then one of the servant told him 
why can't we go to a go to a godly man there is a godly man here on this mountain let us go to him that is what we read chapter 9 verse 6 but he said to him there is a man of god in this town he is a man held in honor whatever he says always comes true let us go there now perhaps he will tell us about the journey on which we have set out yes thus they came to samuel the prophet of god samuel was there on that uh, in that city those days so saul saul and his servant reached samuel and uh, when so uh, when samuel uh, saw this young man saul immediately the spirit of the lord began to speak that is what we read 9 verses 15 and 16 now the day before saul came the lord had revealed to samuel tomorrow about this time i will send to you a man from the land of benjamin and you shall anoint him to be ruler over my people israel he shall save my people from the hand of the philistines for i have seen the suffering of my people because their outcry has come to me when samuel saw saul the lord told him here is the man of whom i spoke to you he it is who shall rule over my people yes then they came together samuel welcomed them and gave a good treach and they took rest there during that night next day morning samuel wake them up and uh, they were they started their journey samuel first samuel chapter 10 verses verse 1 and during one, during that journey samuel told the servants to go some to some distance and kept Saul with him and uh, when they were together alone Samuel immediately took the anointing oil and poured upon the Saul let us read 10:1 Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it on his head and kissed him he said the lord has anointed you ruler over his people you shall reign over the people of the lord and you will save them from the hand of their enemies all around now this shall be the sign to you that the lord has anointed you ruler over his heritage hallelujah 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 so samuel gave two or three uh, signs uh, and uh, that uh, that became true and uh, saul was anointed as the ruler of the people of god because our heavenly father lord chose saul as the king of israel the first king of israel but things went natural normal and uh, nothing happened specially uh, nothing special happened days passed saul didn't have any special experience some anointing and oil was there that's all no special experience no special divine intervention nothing he has, he felt uh, nothing special everything went normal but uh, so uh, soul also was not crazy after the power and authority he was not thinking about becoming a king or, or like that he mers in his daily routine he used to do all what he has to do in his daily life with his father kish they passed again our lord intervened because it is the duty of the lord to make soul a king so something happened in that in, in their country so let us read 11 verses 1 and 2 it's a history is very interesting so how lord made soul the king of israel because soul was not at all interested to become a king he is not at all uh, after the uh, fame and name he want to lead a very very uh, small, uh, little uh, life with his father as a, as a farmer but lord was preparing him for uh, as the king of israel 
11 verses 1 and 2 about a month later nehash the ammonite went up and besieged jabesh gilead and all the men of jabesh said to nehash make a treaty with us and we will serve you but nehash the ammonite said to them on this condition i will make a treaty with you namely that i will gouge out everyone's right eye and thus put disgrace upon all israel but during this time saul was not there he was with his donkeys because he, he was busy with his family matters so one, one day, one day uh, when saul saul was coming he heard a large a great cry then he immediately inquired what is the matter what happened here and, uh, 11 verses 4 to 6 when the messengers came to gibeah of saul they reported the matter in the hearing of the people and all the people wept aloud now saul was coming from the field behind the oxen and saul said what is the matter with the people that they are weeping so they told him the message from the inhabitants of jabesh and the spirit of god came upon saul in yes. power when he heard these words and his anger was greatly kindled yes immediately hearing the news he said what is it immediately the spirit of the lord came upon him he stood up and he ordered thousands and thousands came to him to join as an army see 11 verses 8 and 9 when he mustered them at bezek those from israel were 300000 and those from judah 70000 they came they and said to the messengers who had come thus shall you say to the inhabitants of jabesh gilead tomorrow by the time the sun is hot you shall have deliverance yes then start a, uh, then they began to march towards the people verse 11 says when the next day early morning they began their war within a few hours they conquered their enemy verse 11 the next day saul put the people in three companies at the morning watch they came into the camp and cut down the ammonites until the heat of the day and those who survived were scattered so that no two of them were left together praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah See, there was no trained army there was no trained soldiers no weapons nothing was there but by the power of the spirit of the lord they conquered their enemy within a few hours within a few hours a great victory lord gave them because lord want to make saul an a, a, a sovereign king over israel praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 then immediately samuel called all the people together and proclaimed saul as the king of israel that is what we read in 11 14 and 15 samuel said to the people come let us go to gilgal and there renew the kingship so all the people went to gilgal and there they made saul king before the lord in gilgal there they sacrificed offerings of well-being before the lord and there saul and all the israelites rejoiced greatly hallelujah hallelujah my dear friends now saul became the king of israel everybody accepted him as king of israel he began his rule there saul was a very uh, uh, from a normal family he never thought of becoming a king but lord made him a great king all the people of israel were under him they offered him obedience praise the lord praise the hallelujah. lord hallelujah hallelujah now began his decline up to this time lord led him and lord made him great but now he he became very busy 
he is very very busy man now he has not time to spend with his lord no time for prayer no time for uh, god he uh, now uh, in his mind there is no opening to god and opening to the uh, uh, minister, uh, opening to the prophets of the lord he went away from god he went away from the prophet of god samuel so lord became sad about saul that is what we read 15 10 and 11 the word of the lord came to samuel i regret that i made saul king for he has turned back from following me and has not carried out my commands samuel was angry and he cried out to the lord all night praise the lord praise what the lord. what was the main drawback main sin happened in the life of saul we read 15 23 the, we, the there is some kind of friction some kind of rebellious mind towards god for rebellion is no less a sin than divination and stubbornness is like iniquity and idolatry yes rebellion and stubbornness stubborn nature rebellion my dear children think about ourselves is there stubborn nature is there rebellious nature with regard to the spiritual life think about the relation with our god all these days in our life god was there making us great when we became a learned man when we became uh, uh, an authority when we became powerful what happened our prayer lost we lost our prayer we lost our relation with our god we f- we felt bad we felt ashamed of the uh, pro- uh, uh, accepting god before the people we are ashamed of our spiritual life we are ashamed of our church now saul was declining he was getting away from his lord so everywhere there was struggles lack of peace tension and at last some kings came against him but he can't withstand against them he was fearing he couldn't couldn't do anything all the night he lost his sleep he was wavering frightened and in that war he lost and he was killed that is what we read in first samuel chapter 31 verse 4 then saul said to his armor bearer draw your sword and thrust me through with it so that these uncircumcised may not come and thrust me through and make sport of me but his armor bearer was unwilling for he was terrified so saul took his own sword and fell upon it saul took his own sword and he fell upon that sword and his stomach was broken and everything came out a pitiable end of a chosen one's life a pitiable end of a life second samuel chapter 1 verse 9 now we see the, the 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 very pathetic condition of saul he said to me come stand over me and kill me for anguish has seized me and yet my life still lingers yes the end of the first king of israel lord loved him lord made him great and lord was there with him to work for him to make everything good for him but in between rebellion and stubborn nature forsaking god busy schedule of the life deceived him he lost his god he lost his connection with the prophets of the lord he lost his prayer he lost his soul now a pitiable end of the life in first corinthians chapter 10 verse 11 and 12 why all these things are written in the bible 
Learn from this a lesson for our life. That is all. That is all. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 11 and 12. These things happen to them to serve as an example that they were written down to instruct us on whom the ends of the ages have come. So, if you think you are standing, watch out that you do not fall. Now let us stand up and pray for some time. Oh, Holy Spirit, fall afresh on us. Holy Spirit, melt us. Holy Spirit, mold us. Holy Spirit, help us to live a life that is very pleasing to our Heavenly Father, who is beside us to make us great. Help us, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us worship our Lord with a sincere heart. If we pray sincerely, our Lord will bless every intentions. Let us surrender all our aspirations before Him, especially our weakness, our failures, our shortcomings. We are weak, we are fragile, we are unworthy servants. Our Lord Jesus can make us new. He can make us a new creation. Now let us surrender all our weakness before Him. Really we want to become a saintly, saintly people. We want to become holy before Him. But every now and then we feel, we face failures. Now let us surrender all the weakness before Him. Now during this time of benediction, this uh, time of blessing, Lord will shower His powers, blessings upon us. Let us pray before Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He is possible, call His mighty name. Jesus, 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 call, call the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, bless us, O Lord, bless your God, all the families, O Lord, bless all the nations, O Lord, bless all the clans, O Lord, hallelujah, 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 touch, O Lord, O Lord, O Lord, let there be deliverance, let there be healing, let there be deliverance, O Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.